Hello and welcome to Skyrim Picks episode 10. We're finally here. I will confess it's been more than 10 weeks since this series began, and there's been a bit of a delay since episode 9. This is due to various things, video planning, uni work, and of course, exploring my first ever real gaming PC. By exploring, I mean installing Skyrim along with a ton of graphics mods and an EMB. But I went from this to this. So, you can probably understand my excitement. Anyway, enough about me, this video is about you and your awesome screen archery. So, episode 10. We're going underground, deep underground, where blind elves dwell and the walls are decorated with gold. This week's theme is the Dwemer. Ruins, architecture, artifacts, and all the stuff of old. Our first image is by Azur Nastoshi. This image is just above the minimum colour saturation level of zero, which means it's almost grayscale. The slight hints of gold really create an almost warming vibe. The Dwemer contraption is taken from a low angle, really emphasising its power and size. A dominant and atmospheric beam of light streams across the Dwemer contraption, and dust particles hover thickly. This image really feels like a carefully positioned work of art. Our next image is by Midharas. The crop of this image creates an almost panoramic scene. Our eyes explore the Dwemer ruins quickly and return to the focus point, which is the platform up the stairs with three stone chairs. The colours are warm and inviting, and there seems to be no enemies in sight, creating an adventurous, not dangerous feel. And then we have this brilliant tilt shift effect. A simple blur across the top and bottom sections on the image really produces some visual tension. Our third image is by Igor Andre. The use of colour in this image is peculiar, in a good way. Visually, I'm trying to make sense why some parts are low saturated and others are not, such as his golden thighs. It almost feels as though the dramatic steam is causing the discoloration. Either way, it creates visual excitement, something different from the norm. And we have the low angle. Our steam centaurian looks royal, dangerous, and very powerful, something you'd definitely want to avoid. Our next image is by Mary Pell. Simplicity rocks. This is fascinating as a shadow represents something not fully seen. We know it's something that looms above, but we can't be sure exactly what it is. The texture on the ground really adds something extra to this image. We're not simply left to twist our heads around and try to work out this shadow. We're provided with the feel of being in the Dwemer ruins simply by this rough texture. Furthermore, the contrast between light and dark is both vivid and captivating. Last but not least, we have an image by Sorter. Here we have a large dominant object stealing the show, yet there is a second object that has an unbelievable impact on this image to the point where it wouldn't be the same without it. Cast your eyes on the tiny lantern, or should I just say lantern? We can all relate to the size of a glass box with a candle in it, so why is it so necessary? Well, without it, this great object could be a tiny dice, a decorative earring dropped on some cobblestones. Try it. Pause the video and cover up the lantern with your finger. Imagine this tiny earring, fallen among some cobblestones. Without this lantern, there would simply be nothing to measure the size of the object. On a final point of interest, the lighting must be mentioned. It falls on the front side of the object. The left side is covered in darkness, and the right side is warmed by the light from the lantern. Perfect. Crouch, my friend. You must let it see us. No. Let us kill it and take it as treasure. I keep telling you, there is greater treasure with the old man in the cave. Oh, you coward. I am not a coward. I value my life. Kajit, you are simple in the mind. Do not call me Kajit. My name is... So you are so stupid, you do not even admit you are a Kajit. This is not what I meant. Be quiet and concentrate on what we are here for. The quicker we find the machine, the quicker we can return to the man. Ah, the treasure. Yes. Think of all the septins we will get for it. That old man will not be happy when we return. Your stupidity knows no bounds. That is not the kind of treasure we can sell or steal. Then why are we here in this dusty ruin? You have brought me all the way here, and now you tell me that we will not be rich? Knowledge is septims, my friend. Let us continue so we can claim this knowledge as our own. Silence, you stupid, stupid. Why can you not be brave? Why are you creeping everywhere like an old lady? Look behind you and try not to trip over your tail in the process. 
Run, run, my friend. Now who is the coward? Run, run, my friend. Hypocritical fool. Wait, I feel like we are being watched. Oh, how things have changed. Look at you. Now you are walking like an old lady also. There is something here with us. I am telling you. Wait, something is wrong. Yes, we are being watched. I told you. No. I thought Black Reach was meant to be filled with glowing mysterious plants. There is nothing but Dwemer contraptions, dust, and traps. We are in the wrong ruin! It has followed us! Draw your weapon, my friend! That's it for this episode. As always, please find the Skygraphers linked in the description, and if you love their images like I did, endorse, like, or comment on them. And I'll see you next time with episode 11.